Now we will do the example number 14 in the textbook. So, you can write the question number 3. Find the sum of the first question is the first 1000 positive integers and the second question is the first n positive integers. Sum of first 1000 positive integers. Okay. We are going to do the first answer now. So, first 1000 positive integers means which are they? It will be positive integers starting with 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. to 1000 positive integers. That means the last one will be 1000. Right? From here you have to find out what? You have to find out the sum. Here first term is there, d we can find out, last term is there. Right? So, we will write that a equals 1, then d equals, if you 1 means it will be a 2 minus a 1, what is that? It will be 1 itself. It is 2 minus 1, you will get the answer 1. Then next one, a n equals what? 1000. Right? Now, you have to find out the sum. So, a is there, a n is there. n also we know, what is n? n a 1000 terms, that means 1000 will be right so we can with the easier formula we can take s thousand sum of thousand terms so s thousand equals what what is it it will be n by 2 into a plus a n right so here itself s n we will write s n after that only s thousand so s thousand equals what n by 2 means thousand terms so thousand divided by 2 into a is 1 plus a n is thousand Right. So, S 1000 equals 1000 divided by 2, it will be 500 into 1001. When you multiply 1001 into 5, right? So, it is in, it's a good number 500500, right? This is the answer. Now, again, one more question is the second question the first n positive integers. How will you write it then for the second answer? First n positive integers that means 1, 2, 3 etcetera to not 1000 it is n last number is n. Right. So, what you can do then? So, a is equal to 1, a n is equal to n. Right. Then what about n? n is equal to n itself. Then we will substitute then S n equal sum of n positive integers is equal to n by 2 into a plus a n. Here it is n means number of terms that we do not know n terms it is. So, n by 2 into a is 1, 1 plus a n, a n means n. Right. So, how will you write then? Well, we can write it as n into n plus 1 the whole divided by 2 also we can write. What I did? This 2 is here look divided by 2, right. These all the things are numerator and 2 is denominator. Here it is actually 1 is there, that means 2 into 1, it is 2, right. So, n into 1 plus n, 1 plus n I wrote it as n plus 1. If you write 1 plus n also, no problem. A plus b is equal to b plus a, both are same. So, n into n plus 1 divided by 2 equals s n. This is example number 15. Okay. We will write it as the fourth question. Find the sum of the first 24 terms of the list of numbers whose nth term is given by a n equals 3 plus 2 n. The sum of you have to find the sum of first 24 terms. That means you have to find out s 24 sum of 24 terms you have to find out whose nth term is given nth term is given means what nth term is given as a n equals 3 plus 2 n right if you want sum of 24 terms means what is the equation or formula we can use s 24 is equal to 24 by 2 into a plus a n we can write what is a what is a n that we are going to find out now a a, a 1 means a 1 instead of n we are writing is a 1 right it will be 3 plus 2 into 1. So, here what will you get then? It will be a 1 equals 3 plus 2, it will be 5. 
okay it gives next one a2 a2 equals 3 plus instead of n just substitute because here n is there instead of this n we are substituting 2. So, wherever n is there we have to substitute 3 plus 2 into 2 you will get the answer a2 equals 3 plus 4 it is 7 right what about a3 a3 equals 3 plus 2 into 3. So, it will be a3 equals what will you get 3 plus it is 6. 3 plus 6 is 9. It will be gold. Right? We want the 24th term, sum of 24 term. That will be 24 will be the last term. So, A24 equals 3 plus 2 into 24. So, A24 equals, what is A24? 3 plus 24 into 2, it is 48. 48 plus 3, it is 51 this will be a 24 will be the last term. So, s n equals it is n by 2 into a plus a n and s 24 we want equals 24 by 2 into a s what is a first term 5 plus a n is last term it is 51 right. So, it will be s 24 equals 12 24 by 2 is 12 12 into 51 plus 5 it is 56. So, 12 into 56 you will get the answer 672 sum of 24 terms first 24 terms equals 672. Now, this is the 11th question from exercise number 5.3. So, it is an important question. Okay. If the sum of the first n terms of an AP is 4n minus n square, sum of the first n terms it is 4n minus n square. Sum of first n terms that means Sn equals 4n minus n square. Then what is the first term? And they are given you that is S1. They ask you what is the first term and they told it is S1. What is the sum of the first two terms? Sum of the first two terms means what is it? It will be S2. Sum of two terms it is S2. Then what is the second term? What is it? Second term means it is A2. You have to find out. Similarly, find the third, the tenth and the nth terms. You have to find out A3, A tenth and A n you have to find out. Okay. Very simple question only, but you have to listen properly. Now, S n they had given 4 n minus n square. What is first question? You have to find out the first term. That means S 1. Instead of n, you have to write 1. Wherever n is there, the substitute. So, S 1 equals 4 into 1 minus 1 square. That means, S 1 equals 4 minus 1. S 1 equals 3 you got. Okay, S 1 you got 3. Now, look here two terms are there. Here, till first term, what will call it as A1? Here, it is A2, right? And what is this one? A1 means what you can say? Sum of first term, like that same thing, we can say. This way, A1 we will take it as S1 because only one term is the sum of the first term is same term itself, right? So, S1 equals 3, that means a1 also should be equal to 3. Right. Next one. What is the first two terms? Means as yes, first sum of first two terms. One means what? Yes, 2 you have to find out. Right. Sum of these two terms will be equal to S2. Yes, Example I will give you 20, 25, 30, 35, etc. Right. So, sum of first two terms is 20 plus 25. How do you get the answer? It is 45. This is sum of two terms. That means S2. Right? First two terms you have to add. So, so here second term we do not know. We have to find out. So, first two terms it is S2. S2 means what you have to do? Just apply this 4 into 2 minus 2 square. 
that means 8 minus 4 s2 equals 4 you will get clear now s2 you got what is the next one then next one is what is the second term second term you have to find out second term how will you find out now look here a1 plus a2 will get s2 how will you find out the second term right so here it will be a1 plus a2 you will get s2 right how will you find out this a2 a2 equals s2 minus a1 so second term equals s2 is 4 minus a1 is 3 you will get the second term equals 1 you got right what about d then d equals a2 minus a1 a2 minus a1 d equals 1 minus a1 is 3 you will get the answer negative 2 why i just write it like this because find the third term what you can do a3 equals how will you find it a plus 2d it is for that this d is needed right so you have to find the third term third term means they ask to find this what the second term second term is here right so what will things we find out now first one sum of the what is the first term s1 s1 we find out what is some of first two terms that also we find out what is the second term that also we find out Similarly, find the third term that means a3 we have to find out it is a3 is equal to a plus 2d means a3 equals a is 3 plus 2 into negative 1 d is negative 2 2d is negative d is negative 2 so it will be 3 plus negative 4 so a3 equals negative 1 you will get right what is the next one then what is the next one third after the tenth term a 10 a 10 means it is a plus 9 d it will be a is here it is a is 3 plus 9 into d is d is negative 2 it is 3 plus negative 18 so a 10 equals it is negative 15 you will get a 3 equals negative 1 ok then what is next one then find the and the nth term nth term how will you find out a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d that means a is given as 3 plus n minus 1 into d is negative 2 that means 3 plus negative 2 n plus 2 right so here plus into minus it is minus it will be 3 plus 2 it is 5 minus 2n a n equals 5 minus 2n these are the answers and it is a very important question also so once again i will just explain so they had given you the s n is equal to 4n minus n square that one form it is given so you want one or sum of the first term first term will just look sum of first term means it will be only one term will be there right that is a1 so a1 and s1 will be the same so s1 will be just substitute instead of n here we are substituting 1 everything within wherever n is there substitute 1 is there then you will get the answer s1 is equal to 3 you got that means a1 is equal to 3 next one what is the sum of first two terms sum of two terms two terms means what here it is two terms a1 plus a2 you will get sum of two terms right so s2 just substitute this one instead of n just substitute you will get the answer s2 is equal to 4 now they ask you to find out find the second term second term means what first term plus second term you got sum of two terms so from here a2 how will you find out a2 equals s2 minus a1 substitute the value you will got a2 again we want d because we want a3 a3 means a plus 2d here we want this d so you can find out a2 minus a1 from there you got a3 then a10 and a n now next one exercise number 5.3 12th question find the sum of the first 40 positive integers divisible by 6 40 positive integers divisible by 6 means what when you divide you have to get the remainder as 0 so which all numbers in the multiplication table of 6 that will be enough right so you have to continue with that after 10 also you have to continue with that numbers so we will start now first 40 positive integers 
divisible by 6. You have to find out the sum of. Okay. So, the numbers are, which are the numbers? Divisible are divisible by 6. Which are they? 6, 6 twos are 12, 6 threes are 18, 6 fours are 24, etc. Right. From here, what all things we will get? We will get A is equal to 6. Then, what are things D we will get? It is 12 minus 6. You will get the answer D is equal to 6. Divisible by 6 means it will be, difference will be 6. So, next you have to find out sum of first 40 positive in this. That means S40 you have to find out, right? S40 equals, what is it? First we write with the Sn equals n by 2 into, we have to write the formula first. 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. So, S40 we want equals 40 by 2 into 2 into 6 plus 40 minus 1 into d is 6. Right. So, it will be 40 by 2 is 20 into 12 plus 39 into 6. Right. So, it will be 20 into 12 plus 39 into 6, 234 plus 12, 234 plus 12. So, it will be 6, 4, 2, 246. So, 20 into 246 we will get. Right. So, 246 into 2 you can find out 4, 9 and 1, 0 will be there. It will be 4920, 4920 will be the sum of 40 positive integers divisible by 6. If you want to find out the other formula also, no problem, ok. n by 2 into a plus a n. But you have to find out a n there. a n means what it is a 40 you have to find out then. Just you have to apply you will get the same answer. This is the 15th question, ok. Do not be afraid when you see the question, ok. Very simple question only. So, there is a construction job, ok. And uh, for the delay of the completion, they have to pay penalty. And how much it will be? Rupees 200 for the first day. So, first day, if you are, they are not completed, means it is 200 rupees. Then 250, next day. So, third day it is 300, like that it is go soon. And the question is what? How much money the contractor has to pay as penalty if he has delayed the work by 30 days? What he has to pay for this 30 days as the penalty? That is supposed to be. What all things given? First thing, so uh, one more thing they told, same thing they repeated that what the penalty for each succeeding day being rupees 50 more than the preceding day. It will be 50 50 added, it will be okay. Then, what is the first thing you have to write? First day it will be, that means first day A1, it will be rupees 200. Right? Then A2, it is 250. Then A3, it is 300. Go soon. Then what are D then? A2 minus A1, 250 minus 200, you will get the answer 50 then. Right? We want how much money means sum of money right so yes 30 sum of money in 30 days right so first you write the formula then sn equals n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d yes 30 sum of 30 days you are going to find out so 30 by 2 into 2 into a is 200 plus 30 minus 1 into d is 50. Here we can cancel, it will be 15. So, it will be 15 into 400 plus 29 into 50. So, it will be 15 into 400 plus 29 into 50 is 1450. So, the next step is 30 equals 15 and 400 plus 1450 it is 1850. So, 1850 15 into 1850. So, it will be answer 27750 rupees he has to pay in 30 days. Okay. 27000 
750 rupees he has to pay he has to pay as penalty hey today we did many problems from arithmetic progression right and some are very important also so balance problems till 15 the remaining problems which we did not do in the class you can do it as homework thank you for listening my class thank you very much